I'm Nick and I'm an oceanographer. I study the chemical changes that are happening to our ocean as a result of our carbon dioxide emissions, otherwise known as ocean acidification. Most of my work is done in the Southern Ocean and around Antarctica. I've spent nearly two years of my life doing field work in some of the coldest and most remote places on the planet. I came to science later than many. In fact, I was actually a golf professional in my earlier days. I soon discovered though that I wasn't a very good one, so I thought that a career change was in order. And it wasn't until one of my coaching clients suggested that I go and study science at university that my life took on a different path. My longest expedition to Antarctica was for 13 months. During that time, I worked as a weather observer for the Bureau of Meteorology. Because I had a bit of spare time on my hands, I took on some voluntary work for CSIRO, collecting seawater from beneath the sea ice. It was during this field work for CSIRO that I discovered how amazing and how fragile these polar environments are. We discovered that the ocean acidity had changed much greater than we'd anticipated. Most people don't realise that over 90% of the excess heat energy that's been trapped in the Earth's system over the last 50 years has actually ended up in the ocean. So when we're talking about global warming, we should really be talking about ocean warming in a very real sense. The most serious changes that we'll see in the Earth's system as a result of climate change will stem from the ocean, without a doubt. One thing that still blows my mind about the ocean is that every second breath we take contains oxygen that was produced by microscopic plants or phytoplankton that drift in the world's ocean. So even if you live in one of the most remotest, sandiest, driest deserts in the world, you still have a very real connection to what's happening in the ocean simply by the fact that you're breathing air. 